24 drops February 2nd. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a big movie. It's a big movie for us. I think um, what separates this movie from all the other movies that I made would be quality. I think the quality is just unmatchable. I think the quality is the closest to movie theater quality as possible. Um, audio, visual, everything. Because in this film, I'm not going to put it on YouTube. I'm not giving it out for free. Because I feel like I put a lot of time in this. I put a lot of my money behind this film. So I want to make a few of my money back. But not even just making the money back. I want to take the money and put it in them something else to make it even better. You know what I'm saying? I want to get better in every single film. So I feel like now it's time to start charging people for my film. I give so much stuff out for free. Instagram, videos, my YouTube videos was always free. Twitter. So it's like with this movie, I want to make it uh, cost. I mean, it's only five dollars. Five dollars online, ten dollars on uh, hard copy or disc, ten dollars. Um, you know, so if you go on my website, classfilms.com, you can just log in on there, or not even log in, you just go on there, punch in your little card or whatever like that. It's five dollars. If you got a PayPal, it's even more simple. It's five dollars online. Um, but you know, it brought me for us a lot more action, a lot more drama. We really worked a lot harder on this film. I think I'm going to witness that. I think I'm going to appreciate that. I think the people are going to appreciate the work. You know, the storyline is crazy. If you've never seen The Baltimore Way 1, 2, and 3, check them out now. The Baltimore Way is the biggest short film movie that I've ever made. It got almost about a million views altogether. So, part one got 500,000 views. So, Baltimore Way 4, we just trying to raise the bar. And you know what I'm saying? We just raising the bar, entertaining people, and making people appreciate the craft of filmmaking. I feel like filmmaking is such a lost talent. So, yeah. I feel like an urban kid. Um, been told no all his life. Don't got no money. His family come from poverty. And pretty much they always stressing about money and things like that. So he bump into the wrong guys. He starts selling drugs, get into the wrong crowd. Pretty much, the people that he was selling drugs with, they become envious of him, they try to kill him, things like that, they portray on him. So he loses all his friends, his friends trying to kill him, and things like that, um, pretty much, he gets locked up. And once he gets locked up, well actually, after he get locked up, he got shot. After he gets shot, he come out of the hospital, and it's back to ground one. It's back to ground one. He gotta start making money again, but by himself. So right now in Baltimore Way 4, it's pretty much him versus the cops. You see a lot of shootouts. You see a lot of chase, chasing in the movie. A lot of action. Um, it's pretty much one guy trying to take over the whole city. And the only thing in his way is this cop. And it's crazy because this cop grew up with him. It's a real crazy movie. Um, pretty much the reason why I make the Baltimore Ways and all these type of films, because I know I'm usually known for comedy. But I'm a director. I feel like I'm a producer and a director. I feel like the city of Baltimore and a lot of different urban cities can connect with this movie. It's all about connecting. I feel like they can connect with it. A lot of people are struggling. They're in poverty. A lot of people, are young guys, feel like they got to sell drugs to make it out. And people who are selling drugs and they're getting out and getting money, they know that the pressure's on them, jealousy's on them, people be hating on them. Even if you're a girl, this movie's for everybody. Whoever's getting money and people feel like, you know, they need to take you out for getting money and people hating on you for getting money, then this movie's for you. But you know, it, it's just a real drama movie. It, it's a lot, it's a lot. My favorite part of the movie is when, um, I ain't gonna tell y'all my little quick, I just gotta watch it. You feel me? Don't fall.